Next up, though, we're going to go north of the border. We're going to go to Scotland. This was a band I didn't quite squeeze in last Friday because I ran out of time. Because you know what? I do chat a bit. Badly. This is Tantrum. <laughs> Next up on our showcase of New Horizons um, bands, a focus on new, exciting British bands with, with a new purpose and excitement and new stuff happening in 2017. We are going to feature a band we discovered late in 2016, but who you, the listener, developed a bit of a love affair with, so we're going to keep playing the music. It's Tantrum from Scotland, and I'm now joined by Steve. Steve, how are you doing? I'm very well, guys. Thanks, Guy. How are you? Very good. Christmas was good up in Bonnie, Scotland? Yeah, man, it was cold, wet, and alcohol fueled, so pretty much like every other season. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, you're, obviously, you're an exciting band. We discovered you quite late in 16, but uh, I think you've got a lot of promise for the year ahead. Let, let us know, what, if you can, what your hopes, dreams, ambitions are for 2017. Sure. Um, so, writing new stuff at the minute, um, kind of focusing on that at the minute. Um, obviously, we've got some gigs coming up, certainly booked for the year already. A um, couple of good ones, a couple of exciting new things that may be happening that I can't talk about that are awesome. Okay, so hopefully sounds, they come to fruition. Sounds cunning, yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, just kind of building on our success from last year. Um, hopefully getting south of the wall at some point and come down yeah. to see you guys in Englandshire. Be that would great. be awesome. Um, and yeah, just getting ourselves out there as much as we can. And uh, I mean, we're sponsoring the rock stage at Wildfire. I, you probably can't say anything, but be nice if we get, got to see you there maybe in June. It would be lovely, wouldn't it, Guy? Yeah. <laughs> That's a no-comment answer if ever I got one. Right, moving on swiftly. Um, we, we enjoyed your last EP. Uh, in terms of recording, is it another EP? Is it an album? What's next for you? It's a tricky one. You know, this day and age, I suppose making albums doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it's kind of something that we want to do as a band. To be honest, we're, we're probably a bit old school. Um in terms of how bands work and to us making an album is just what you do yeah. so the EP is kind of a taster um, I think it's probably fair to say that an album would sound different to the EP um, in terms of the songwriting we're all more involved in the songwriting now than we were on the EP so it's taken on a slightly different slant a slightly kind of heavier slant um, than probably the EP was so I think to us it makes sense to do an album Okay. Whether it makes financial sense or not, <laughs> probably a moot point. But there you go. Yeah. And I guess that's the thing that an EP, I guess, I guess you know, as a young band, an EP is a way where you can, you know, take gentle steps and do it gradually. But I guess the thing with the album is the album's the thing that lands the reviews. I guess. Yeah, that, that's the statement. I mean, from the reviews that we've had of the EP, what's kind of been predominant is people saying that it's. It's short and it leaves people wanting more, yeah. which I guess is a good thing. But I think that kind of gives us the impetus to maybe go and do a little bit more yeah. the next time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's good. We're, we're certainly not going to we're not going to do anything until we're um, 100% set on on the songs that we're doing. So that's going to be a while down the line yet. Okay, okay, that's good. Now, a, a quick comment from you. Um, uh, 2016 was a bit. I mean, for most people, it's a year to forget. We, we lost a lot of heroes. Um, yeah. That's, well, yeah, we still are. Classic Rock magazine obviously um, disappeared, which was a great shame. Um, I know. But um, I guess, I mean, a, a, take, a take that I have from all this, which I think I mentioned on our Christmas show in December last, last year, was um, actually what it kind of spells out to me is we, in 2017, which is kind of why we're doing this feature today, is we need to probably all readjust our minds and spend a bit more time focusing on new bands. Do you find... As a young band, do you find as a young band it's kind of hard to get noticed or do you feel support's pretty pretty good there in the rock world? Thanks for calling me young. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, think, um, I think, yeah, it is a challenge. Um, it's hard to get people off the bus and out of their house and away from all the distractions that people have nowadays. You know, back in the 70s and 80s, music was what you had. Yeah. And now there's... You know, there's everything, there's YouTube, there's TV, there's, you know, whatever else. Yeah. So, yeah, getting people actually off the sofa and up, up to see us. But, what, you know, one thing I would say is 
if you go and see like a band like ourselves or you know guys like Massive Wagons, the King Lot, um, Mason Hill, these kind of guys, we're not making a living out of this. This is not our job. Yeah. We're we're coming if we're coming to, to your town, we're doing it because we want to. Yeah. If you see us up on that stage, we're going to be giving everything. We're not going to phone it in. So you're going to see a proper show yeah, like Rock and Roll is going to be. Which is how it how it. I mean, if you think about the bands. I'm sure if I asked you who inspired you, it would be the same old bands like ACDC and Led Zeppelin and stuff. That's what they did. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I, I mean, I don't know if it's massively different than it was then, to be honest. I and mean, there's a lot of kind of gloom and doom about the music industry. Yeah. But I think there's a lot of positives. You, you just have to adapt and look at, you know, the way it is. Yeah, it's not like it was 20, 30 years ago, but it, you just need to deal with it. People are still going to form bands. Yeah. Musicians are still going to play it's just that we just have to adapt to the new the new landscape, I think. Yeah. And it's funny what you said about social media and stuff. I mean, I think um, I think it's very much a force for good in the sense that you can talk to, you can build fan clubs and you do pledge funding. I just think the thing, and it isn't just music, I think it's everything, is I think people need to also know there's a time to turn it off and go and see a gig. I, I find it with radio. Yeah. People always say to me, when will it be on Listen Again? It won't, because it's like a live gig. It's radio. Listen to it or go and do the washing up. But if you can't be bothered to listen to it, 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 it isn't, you know, it's like a gig. The gig's when it is. And I think that's something we've got to reprogram society to embrace, be in the moment a bit more. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you see that at gigs, you know, people are more interested in updating their Facebook status and taking a selfie than they are watching the band, you know. Yeah. Um, and I'm very conscious of that when I go and see bands on keep the phone in the pocket and just enjoy the moment yeah. and enjoy the band yeah 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 okay well there we are social media let's hope it's a force for good in 2017 Steve we're going to leave it there we're going to play a song from your last EP uh, we look forward to seeing you maybe at Wildfire or in Scotland or in London or wherever it will be but we're going to be following you in 2017 and best of luck for a successful year thanks for your support Guy we appreciate it The nutritious and delicious and vegetarian friendly Tantrum from Scotland. And if you haven't checked it out, check out the artwork for their EP. It's, it, it may carry a hint on what the album's called. It, and then looking at that picture, it would be something along the lines of Wee Wee's in the Street. Okay, the time is coming out to 10, 10 to 11. We're going to get a bit messily after 11 to 12. Never really done this before, but. It's crazy. I've got a great interview I have to air, and I can't really do it at drive time, so I'm going to do it tonight. It's RSJ. It's a stunning interview for my beard. One of the funniest interviews we've done, actually. It's all about beards and, and everyone being called Dan.